Y'all. Tennessee loses to the Florida Gators in basketball. Man, rough night, and we couldn't hit nothing. Um, you know, man, just didn't play that good. Battled, battled back defense, played great second half, but, you know, just couldn't, just couldn't get it done. Uh, Tennessee football hires tight end coach. I don't know, man. We got some stuff to talk about. So let's get it. It's me flying solo today. Hey, this is out of my comfort zone, but hey, let's get it. You already know what it is. It's straight up Tennessee. Man, where do we start, man? First of all, welcome to Straight Up Tennessee. It's your boy Turner. Ruck was busy tonight, so it's just me flying solo. We're going to talk about uh, Tennessee and Florida. We're going to talk about some new news that we got with the Tennessee Volunteer football team. New coach, uh, tight end coach that is. Um, man, thank y'all for watching. Man, if y'all don't already, just straight up front at the show, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so y'all know when we release this stuff. You know, follow us on Spotify, Apple, whatever, man. We just appreciate y'all listening. We just two dudes just talking Tennessee sports. We ain't no professionals. We just watch the games and like to talk Tennessee sports. So let's get into it. Man, this Tennessee basketball game. At Florida. Ruck said it. Not a good, I mean, he didn't have a good feeling about it. Man, it just wasn't a good night for us, man. We we were sloppy with the basketball, cold from the floor early. Uh, Florida took an early lead to 17-4 in the first. 7-0-6 left in the game. It's not good. But, I mean, Florida came out guns hot. They started six for nine from the floor and three for four from three-point range. That's pretty good. I mean, especially when we're not shooting good. I mean, that's really good. Um, Y'all, the stats for this game, insane. Here's just some stats for you. We shot, the Vols shot 28%. 19 of 68 for the game. And 5 of 25 from three-point range. Man. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know, we beat Texas. And, you know, we get we get some offensive games going. You know, Zakai Ziegler starts stepping it up. Come while plays killer. Lots out against Texas. And I'm like, you know what? We might have figured something out offensively. Like, I think we can keep this consistent. You know, we've been doing this a couple games. We might have figured this out. And, man, it's just... We're a good basketball team. We are a very, very, very good basketball team. But, man, it's just like a reoccurring thing with this Tennessee basketball squad. We get hot, then we get cold. We'll shoot lots out for a couple games. Then we have that one game that we barely pull away. And in this this case, we didn't didn't pull back. I mean, we battled back. I think we were up by six, seven, maybe eight at one point. Um, But we just couldn't pull it out, man. And... Man, another crazy stat. Julian Phillips, Zakai Ziegler, Vescovi, Triple J, and Tyreek Key combined to shoot 12 of 49 from the floor. That's really bad. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. That's really bad. But, I mean, you know, we sit here and we complain on the show about, like, you know, we need those guys just to take shots. We need dudes just to shoot. It don't matter if you miss. Just shoot. We had one, two, three, four. We had four guys shooting double digits. Come on, shot the ball 13 times. Ziegler shot the ball 19 times. Vescovi shot the ball 12 times. And Josiah Jordan James shot the ball 11 times. I mean, we shot the ball. 
We were just cold from the floor. Very cold. I mean, come on, went four for 13. Ziggy went six for 19. Viscovi went two for 12. And Triple J went two for 11. Triple J went 0 for 5 from 3. It's just not a good night, man. And, you know, I hate playing Florida. Me and Ruck talked about it today. Just hate playing Florida in general, especially going down there. You know, but I think we needed to lose one more game, in my opinion. Just get it out of the way. And I don't think we'll lose again. I really don't. I think we needed that one more loss. And I think we're good. And I know Bama is a fantastic basketball team. Might be the best team in the country. But they got to come to TBA. And very hard to beat Tennessee in TBA. Just going to be honest. Man, I don't know. Colin Castleton had 20 points and nine rebounds. And he had some big blocks on Tennessee uh, in the game. We just... We couldn't stop him. Um, Another stat for you, the Vols had just seven assists on 19 made shots. That's bad for Tennessee because Tennessee leads the SEC in team assists at more than 17 per game, and we had seven. Man, it's just – it just wasn't a good all-around game for the Tennessee Volunteers, man. Um, I don't know. I'm ready to put this one behind us. We could sit here and talk about it all night, but – Tennessee loses 67 to 54. Um, didn't play very good. Had to go down to the swamp. It is what it is. I think we are a very good basketball team. And I think our future is very bright. And I cannot wait for March. And just, just talking about college basketball, that that's what makes March Madness so intriguing and so, so good. Is you can have a number one seed. Sure, fantastic, had a great season. But you can have this no-name 16 seed that can come in there, shoot lots out, and put that number one seed team away. You know, and it – I love college basketball. I love March Madness because at the end of the day, it don't matter who's playing. It could be one against 16 seed. It could be Tennessee versus Austin P. If Austin P has a fantastic game and comes out, shoots lots out, hey, it's any man's game in college basketball. And that's why March Madness is so exciting. But the Auburn, the Auburn Tigers have to come in to TBA this Saturday, tomorrow, play at 2 Eastern. Um, man, we'll see. It'll be a tough one. But once again, I feel good when we play in TBA. Yeah. I just think, I just think home field at Tennessee is just a – just a massive advantage. Basketball, football, baseball, whatever. I Man, I tried to go. My wife texted me like, hey, let's go get some single game baseball tickets to try to go to this year. I Man, they come out. I go on there like 15 minutes after they came out. They are sold out of every game. Every game Tennessee baseball is sold out of. Speaking of Tennessee baseball, number two in preseason poll. Tennessee is back, folks. Tennessee is back and can do it all. I don't care what you say. But, anyways, Auburn comes into TBA Saturday. Um, Score prediction for that game? I'm going to say we come with a little chip on our shoulder, losing to Florida. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say the Vols win 77. To seventy-two, I think it's gonna be a. I think it's gonna be a close game. I think it'll be a decent game. Um, Bruce Pearl gonna come in here and do his thing. You know, the Tennessee Auburn game's always heated, always is every year. Um, but like I said, it's on a Saturday. TBA will be absolutely packed. Uh, it's already sold out. There won't be an empty seat in there. Hey, bring it on! I feel good when we play at TBA. So perfect time. Just to thank Whitehead Auto Sales, man. Shout out to y'all. You know, if y'all needing to buy a car, truck, whatever, hey, give them a shout in the Alcoa area. 
they will hook you up. Their financing, <whistles> top quality. They are fantastic guys. As for Andy, Nick, just any of those dudes, man, they will hook you up. Uh, man, we thank y'all for rocking with uh, Straight Up Tennessee, man. Uh, kind of turning the corner, Tennessee hires a tight end coach today. Man, I love this hire. Uh, they promoted, um, I'm probably going to say this name wrong, Alec Abelin to the field role of tight ends coach. Um, he was an offensive analysis, so he wasn't on – he wasn't an on-the-field coach, uh, but kind of fun fact for you, he is no stranger to Hopple's offensive system. He played at Missouri from 2013 to 2017. His last two seasons, he played in Hopple's offense uh, when Hopple was the OC and Glenn Ellerby was the offensive line coach. Uh, upon completing his eligibility at Missouri, uh, he joined Hopple and Ellerby at Central Florida as a grad assistant. Uh, with Jeff Levy as the offensive coordinator. Uh, Jeff Levy went to Ole Miss in 2020, or he followed Levy to Ole Miss in 2020 as an analyst. And when Hopple got hired on in 2021, he came in, he came with the Hopple guys. Um, so, man, he knows the system. He's been here, and, man, I, I honestly love the hire. I love keeping it within the staff. And that, that, that just goes to show, I mean, look at Halsey or ha Hasley. I, I can never say his name, but offensive coordinator. I mean, he was brung up through Hopple, and now he's the offensive coordinator for the Tennessee Volunteers. Man, I, I love the hire. I love bringing dudes up. I mean, look at Pope. I mean, I love, I love the close-knit. Man, I really, I really do. Um, I think it's a great hire. Uh, man, just excited about football. Uh, can't wait for football season to get here, man. Um, I don't know if y'all been keeping up with uh, Hendon Hooker at the Senior Bowl, uh, what he's been saying. Uh, he said he is going to show up to the orange and white game in a Joe Milton jersey and go crazy. Um, man, that just goes to show you that, that man, they bros. They like it, and it's more than brothers, man. They are they're, they're they are legit family, and you know I think that's what Hopple has created this this new culture. It's a family. It's not just it's not just going out there and playing football and getting your own. And like I'm gonna get mine and I'm gonna go to the league and make money. No, it ain't about that at all, man. It's it's about a family and playing as one. So, man, I don't know. Just keeping it real simple, just something just something quick, just something easy, just to hop on here and talk a little Tennessee sports, um, just get caught up on everything. Uh, man, turning the corner. Man, we want to thank uh, Tennessee Sporting Goods. Man, thank you all for rocking with us. Thank you all for supporting us. Uh, just thank you all for everything you do. Man, if you all need Letterman's jackets, baseball gloves, baseball bats, softball, anything, T-shirts, if you want to get a Gibbs T-shirt made, if you want to get a Halls T-shirt made, if you want to get your favorite high school T-shirt, hoodie, pullover made, go hit them up. Man, we thank y'all for rocking with the Tennessee Sporting Goods. Um, but yeah, man, it's just me flying solo today. I uh, just wanted to get on here and talk, talk a little Tennessee sports with y'all. Um, me and Ruck will be back. For the Monday rundown. Um, man, excited about this Tennessee football team. Excited about this Tennessee basketball team to see where we fall in the seating and just the rest of the season, how it plays out. Um, man, thank y'all for rocking with us. Uh, it's crazy. Almost at 530 subscribers, man. Wouldn't be here without y'all. So, I'm going to try it. Y'all already know what it is, baby. It's straight up Tennessee.